Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome to our Sunday edition of the five-year anniversary marathon. My name is Arock 617 So I actually have to um, actually have to give all the props to uh, the aforementioned Bald Nate for this idea. <clears throat> I, I don't recall when exactly it happened, but a few weeks ago he was discussing the possibility of just throwing all the games he wanted to play into the BizHawk Shuffler, and I was like, that's an awesome idea. Now, I was committed to one of my five games already, which is not BizHawk friendly for the version that I wanted to play, but for the other four, I thought if I can keep them all on the same console and just play a bunch of games that I mostly rented growing up, then we're in there. This is going to be great. I've done a couple of practice runs of it, and I've had a lot of fun trying to make sure I can keep up with these four games all at once. It is a challenge, but whatever. They're all beat em up. So you can see the four the four titles in the bottom left corner there. I do apologize to 3-2 that I had to cover up his artwork to make sure that could happen, but this way everyone knows what four games are being played. Clockwise from top left, you see Batman Returns, Spider-Man and Venom, Max from Carnage, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse, and TMNT 4 Turtles in Time. A lot of people are certainly going to be familiar with at least a couple of these games. The only game of these four that I owned as a kid was Turtles in Time, but I rented all of them quite a few times. Uh, I would disagree. I think Maximum Carnage is a very good game. Uh, sh 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 I need, do need to get my splits, though. I did miss that. Woefully unprepared, he says. I will say that despite the fact that Maximum Carnage of the Four is technically the fastest speed run, it is the one that's going to take me the longest because I've never really done speed runs of it. Like, I've only ever really done casual playthroughs. I do enjoy the game. I just don't particularly love trying to play fast because it's really glitch heavy and that's all well and good. I just never wanted to play it my that way myself. So that's going to work is I'm going to load up this Hawk. I'm going to load up the Shuffler, which I'm doing right now. And I'm going to start timer essentially on the first area where I can actually press start on start game. I don't know which game that's going to be on. It's probably not going to be on Maximum Carnage because that intro takes a lot longer than the others do and you can't skip it. Let's go ahead and load up the script. Give me one moment. I didn't want to start the script before I got my games going today. But uh, just because, you know. But hey, that'll get us into the first game right away at 3, 2, 1, go. So how this is going to work is, every 5 to 30 seconds, similar to what Nate did, the game is going to change on me. Now I'm going to be utilizing pretty specific categories for what I play. Like for Batman Returns, I'm only going to be playing on easy, because that's the primary speedrun category. Whereas Turtles in Time, I'm only going to be playing on the hardest difficulty, because that's all I ever really play. Got all this stuff here, manual dash, back attack. I prefer animation, deal with it. I want to like comic, but I hate the fact that the pupils are missing. That actually drives me crazy. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll, we won't do a reset. We'll just go ahead and start on Maximum Carnage. This is fine. Whoop. See the white line at the top? Hopefully we get a chance to fix that. So starting off with Mutant Apocalypse. This was one of the first games I ever speed ran, and I played it a lot as a kid, though I didn't utilize Beast then nearly as much as I do now. Essentially going to be playing it as I do, as it would be a speed run. Uh, Final Fight 3, if you look at these four all together, they're all licensed beat em ups, so that means they all have something in common. Two of them based on Marvel Comics, no less. Final Fight 3 is also a great game, but I have absolutely no nostalgia for it. Unlike these four, which I have a ton of nostalgia for. So, Maximum Parage is where I'm playing Spider Man. Turn around, beating up good. There is a string cancel similar to what I do in Batman Returns that involves Southern having to press up or down. Big Apple! To be able to go Turtles in Time, I'll be honest, is I have the most nostalgia for this game of the, of the four I'm playing today, but I'm also not particularly good at it. Like, I, don't, I haven't really spent too much time working on the speed part of this game. It's incredibly optimized. Fun game. I love the pieces, but I never really tried to get good at going fast. Which is going to take us to Batman? Okay, sure. Yeah, that's just BizHawk. BizHawk's naturally loud. I can try to drop it when I get a chance, but it might be a bit. This Biz, BizHawk, is, I've learned, is just naturally loud. Which is saying something, because I, too, am also naturally loud. Let's take out this guy. 
I will note that Batman Returns has been the most interesting of the four to play this way, I think, because I'm so used to speed strats with it. So having combos interrupted is actually a really big deal. Sure, that's a thing. Also, random input interruptions. For Spider-Man, in this case, what we want to do is we want to just build up hits until we can get to what's called power hits. If you get power hits, don't get your combos interrupted. Whipping is bad. That's what happens sometimes. You would never see me do that if I was just playing for all the time. Alright, tons of mistakes so far, but that's shuffle for ya. Where you going, dude? Uh, this works, I guess. I've had some pretty crazy stuff happen during these transitions. If I'm trying to do, like, the block string cancel in Batman, it's actually panned back over to maximum carnage and caused me to use one of the assists. Somewhat disruptive. Let me see if I can turn the game volume down a little bit. Desktop audio, I dropped a little bit, so the balance should be a little bit better. I know that is. So we're starting by playing as Psylocke, one of my favorite characters to play, even though she's not particularly great. We'll get back to that in a moment, I suppose. Oh, I didn't do that. Cold fingers. Playing this game with uh, within cold temperatures has never been my uh, <laughs> never been my strongest. That's for sure. Like my worst marathon run of it ever was in the month of December. Uh, okay. Let stuff happen, I guess. Catch this guy here. That was very rude. I don't know how he got past that. I'm gonna move this guy over here. That was rude. It's like the exact thing you don't want to have happen, but that works, because that guy came in and did that thing. I'm gonna see and make sure that guy leaves. So I'm gonna catch these guys that. That could have gone better. Uh, no, that's not good. Slam, slam, slam. So yeah, this game is one I have a vastly different approach for these days. Growing up, I would just play all the turtles and just mess around with it, but these days I pretty much only play Wrath. And it's not even because speedrun, that's partially the reason, but it's just, Wrath is just ridiculously overpowered to the point where I don't think the other characters are even fun. Okay, this could be going better for sure. Slap one time. Oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> it interrupted me during a jump. That's going to be potentially disastrous. I hope it's not. Never know what game you're going to come back to either. You also do have the option of having a countdown timer, but I opt not to. Definitely not good at the speed Baxter kill, but I'll do my best. What's the place to play it? What about this guy? I'm gonna go with my standard speed stretch here. Grab him, throw Bring this over. Oh, that could have been so much worse. Uh, back to neutral. Okay, that's the new one. Never has been interrupted the gunfire. I don't enjoy this fight more than worth. Catch him on that, because this does really, really good damage. Uh, yeah. These work, I guess. This one's also been interesting to try to just have to play through in this experiment. That was really bad. <laughs> Some really, really good spacing there from them. I gotta give them that. Uh, Psylocke and overlapping inputs. You're gonna try and see a lot of knee attempts from me, and you're gonna see me miss them a lot because, again, lots of different special moves go on that. This way? Oh, yeah. They have to smash together, don't they? Got myself interrupted there. There's the brains in. It's actually the fastest way to kill that guy. I tried doing full combo, and it actually doesn't work that well. Uh, I didn't want that to happen. Where that guy gets away. Yeah, I'm not even gonna grab the beat, so I wanna save the frame. Sure, we'll get this health. 
didn't have to hit that guy, and it actually cost me some time, but man. Ooh, they're gonna rip that boss fight. That mini boss is one of the more challenging things in the game for me. When that guy goes off script and does what he wants, it's not good. Let's see if I can maintain something here. That's pretty good. Also good. Didn't want that. Still good, all things considered, but not my favorite. Oh, this should be fun. Just gonna start that back up on the um, on the collapse segment. But yeah, we're. I mean, we're gonna mostly see what I'm good at here, just running through these sections and just hitting enemies a lot. I guess the colors don't love this. So here's the thing about maximum cars and drives me nuts. Some of the enemy AI in this game is the best I've ever seen it just trying to make sure they can surround you. The enemies in this game are incredibly fast. They will always be able to do a good job of just be able to make sure they can force the issue. I'm gonna walk over here. Alright, so this part might suck. Never mind. Worked out perfectly. Never tried the knife on the left guy. That worked out really well. Oh yeah, I have to do this, don't I? Forgot where I was for a second. I still got the double kill there. That was sweet. Uh, Villainous, what you're thinking of is the Spider-Man arcade game, which was developed by Sega. Never got ported to home consoles. I'm personally not a fan of that game, but it's it's okay. Uh, what? Out of all the, the Marvel licensed arcade beat-em-ups, it's probably my least favorite. Okay, Captain America and the Avengers does have its own set of problems. What the heck? That one being a beat em up that doesn't play like a beat em up. It has like three shmup sessions. Session life. Sound of that. This is always just so weird to watch to me. This in a good way. Does anybody else get the like feeling of, like, flipping channels through Saturday morning cartoons when they watch this? Because any number of these could have been on at the same given time. All mid-90s staples. Although, I don't think Batman the Animated Series was on Saturday mornings. I believe it was on, like, just weekday afternoons or something. So, I was actually having a lot of problems with the Sentinel previously, but then I remembered you had this strat at... Which doesn't include falling. Ah, <laughs> uh, emulators. So efficient. Uh, some health. Let's see it. Thank you, foreground objects. Okay, let's try this again. Wow. Okay, I'm not doing that high enough. This is technically fine, I think, but I don't love it, that's for sure. I really wish he would uh, come down though. What you're supposed to be able to do is just do a jump kick into his head, turn around, and then do head stomp, but I was doing head stomp a little bit too low to the ground. Something like that. <clears throat> On Fox? Uh, honestly don't know. Nothing got interrupted there. This segment's easy as long as you just keep walking, but we got interrupted. What you can do there. Also curious if we can interrupt the stunning Steve fight. Probably will. And it didn't. Perfect beginning to end. You. Uh, I never did quite get the flip pack of timing for uh, SNES. I don't know why. Did it on Hyperstone Heights? I can do it easy. Here it just looks more in the game. Something like that, yeah. Right, moving on from Psylocke, we'll see her a little bit later. Gambit Stage was actually one of the... I'll say, an, on paper, it was one of the harder stages for me to approach when utilizing the Shuffler, because there's one specific segment of his stage that has really complicated platforming. We'll be seeing very soon, and I tend to take a much safer route than I normally would. Because messing that up is death, it's easy to mess up when you may not be playing the same game within the next two seconds span. Key is key and all. 
Let's get past this. I do love this theme. One thing I, I certainly can be as sure of when I'm playing any of these games is the music is always a banger. Gambit's theme is one of my favorites in this game. Specifically, oh, where are you going? Cooperating. Then I've noticed that a lot of this game, enemies in this game, just don't cooperate hardly ever. Okay, so I'm gonna try for a double kill here. It's called the double smash, but it's essentially a double double one hit KO on two enemies. Flip it this way. All right, so normally what I'd be doing around across here is some really complicated looking flip kicks. And I'm trying to avoid those for the most part. I didn't want to avoid it there because I knew I could kill that thing. And then it would put me on that side. For the most part, I'm just going to be jumping. Oh, the ball is going at once. It's okay, though. Whoa, okay. Thanks for going left. So I'm talking about, imagine if I've been doing flip kicks this whole time. Something would have swallowed it whole and I would have fallen to my death. Lord. It's shuffling anywhere between 5 and 30 seconds. And it randomly picks the game. It's essentially pure chaos. And I'm trying to adapt as best I can to four games that are all incredibly random. In addition to having the additional RNG of not knowing which game we're playing at a given time. Also, shoutouts to the one and only Bro Central for creating the show. It's a lot of fun. It's crazy, and it took me some adjustment to get used to. But it's some of the most fun I've had playing these games. Because realistically, I could have just submitted all four of these games and just played them the same way I always do, but I just thought that seemed kind of boring, so I wanted to do it this way. That's unfortunate. Still have a chance here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try one more time. It really sucks to miss that, because fighting the two female enemies without that double kill is a challenge, to say the least. So way on in. That was insane. Really good timing there. Didn't work out in my favor, but I'll work from here. Got this guy over here. That's gonna be weird. Get out of here. Your wrath, Metalhead's one of the easiest bosses in the game. This dash special hits way too many times. Just get the chance block, no problem at all. But your damage output against Metalhead is just so unfair, especially because he's always on the ground. Uh, both sides, please. They are just not gonna cooperate today. Yeah, okay. So I have to fight them by myself, which sucks. But this is about to get hit by that hair. Tried to manipulate that guy. I got kind of lucky there that he didn't interrupt that. Get those. This guy come down. Set this off. There we go. There is a really hard skip you can get there that saves a good, like, somewhere between six to seven seconds, but I believe it's both frame and pixel perfect. That was insane. Just flurry of fists. Got interrupted at a really bad time. Because shuffling. Hold this, please. Oh, I was hoping that guy would show up. I can't remember how I found that out that you could just give bombs back to enemies and watch it kill them. I thought that was so funny. This is gonna be, this is gonna be ridiculous. Not looking forward to fighting these. Especially a Spider-Man. Like with Venom, you have an infinite that you can perform on them. With Spider-Man, uh, not so much a luxury. Just in that double smash was no bueno. Why just spawn there? One of my favorite sequences here is gonna just train on these guys. Come here. Uh, okay, or not. If I had to fight these two for a uh, fair, I tend to do a lot of grabs. That's unfortunate. Missing that hit on the way up is pretty bad. Not the first time that's happened, probably won't be the last. The hitbox is a little wonky. 
So if I finish the game, what happens is there's a menu that I'm using through the shuffle that I can use to set the ROM under what's called completed games, and then it just won't go that long anymore. So you can do like something like this. Let's try to mitigate that. Not terrific, I don't think you can do like There we go. Best I could hope for. It kinda sucks because like you really want to get that double smash. Not even just for speed purposes, but also for the fact that if you land the double smash, the game just gives you an extra life. And those are really nice to have. To the least beat em up stage in this game. Go over here and jump to the secret room. Good little cutscene here. Look at this. That white line. For some reason, we have a Contra boss and a side scroller. I guess this being the least beat em up of the floor, because it does have like all Mega Man style side scrolling stages. Probably apropos, but I really don't know. Oh, because the storyline of Max from Carnage was that everybody just became really bloodthirsty. It became like survival of the fittest, because like, Carnage was just randomly murdering people and everybody else was like crazy as a result. And that could include teenagers. That was really rude. Thanks, game. You're the best. Welcome to Shuffler, everybody. Stuff like that happens. Speaking of stuff happening. Hey, pole dance, we got it. Yeah, that's the better answer because I don't wear their mask. Spider Man, ever the beacon of social distancing. Of <clears> course, <throat> we won't be seeing any more of Gambit for the rest of the game, but. Move on to Wolverine. Also a very fun stage. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. We're gonna clip this guy. We're gonna run along. Get him, he won't bother us. There we go. Actually, he does come back to bother us, I forget. That's unfortunate. What the heck? <laughs> so this went disastrous because Shuffler. Secret rooms are cool. It just leaves you these little rooms where you basically just get a bunch of power-ups. You can also get extra lives. You can get assists in some cases. You can't get assists this early. For those that wonder, uh, assists are what I refer to as the... Um, how do I put this? In Maximum Carnage, you can unlock characters. You know how I put it? Like, just basically call them to help you. And they come on the screen and they just do really crazy stuff. Sometimes they kill a green in the room. Sometimes they heal you, which is very good. Won't be seeing those right away, but eventually in one of Spider-Man's solo stages, we'll be seeing one. Oh, I didn't want that. So why am I not doing this? Those are like one shot. There we go. This extra life. There we go. You're benched. Goodbye. Those alien dudes were from um, an old episode of Ninja Turtles. I did not do that. Yeah, this could have gone better. What I was trying to do is make sure I grabbed them on the way in. It didn't happen. Life. Carry this out of the room because it's funny. Uh, these are all SNES games, yes. Up the escalator, gonna have a little bit of damage boosting. Take a hit from that guy so we can walk through him. This one we have to avoid. He can't knock us to the right like the first one did. Yeah, that's, that timing is really, really tough. Not surprised I missed it. I only get it about 60% of the time. Whoa, whoa, thanks, game. Truly a beacon of fairness. I don't know where he's going, but okay. I actually really enjoy Wolverine stage in this game. It reminds me of a Ninja Gaiden level. That's not good. Not the first time that's happened, but you never want it to happen. Getting laser combo is no bueno, for sure. Dash our way in. 
So for Sewer Surfing, this is, I actually just play the speed strats here. Just dodge every enemy, don't get anything at the end, no bonus points, don't need them. Plus I think it's more fun to just dodge enemies, to be honest. That guy really needs to stop jumping though. Chill out in the bottom left, the gates won't hit you. Zip past these guys. Yeah, I figured one might fall, maybe we can take him out though. Okay, so we move on here. This part can be really tricky if we get interrupted. I did not want to get hit by that. I think there's a lot of damage. Hit by the fire, too. Can I just take one of those pizzas and give it to Batman? That would be very helpful. But special over any of these balls that come our way because they do a lot of damage and I don't want that. Climb on the Shuffler is something. It's another one that's fortunate to have interrupted, which will probably happen at least once. I'm gonna do my best. Over this way. There's a faster way to do this, but I tend to just follow the game instructions and do whatever it says. I know, boring and all, but sometimes you do what you know. All right, so the pizza monsters are pretty easy to avoid. We can show that here in the bottom right corner. We only have to avoid one of these guys. It's like the next to last one, I think. Not gonna be bothering Doppelganger. All right, good climb. Yeah, this is certainly very uh, ADD friendly. There's no doubt about that. But to me, it's just a case of like, hey, I can play this game into this game, and that seems ridiculous. I'm gonna do it anyway. You just thought there that was the only one we actually had to avoid. Way to our boss. Batman returns casually is arguably the hardest of the four. I personally think Maximum Carnage is the hardest of the four casually, but Batman Returns is up there. Let's you, get this continue, because why not? So in this game, for Maximum Carnage, we only have five primary bosses and we'll be seeing them a lot. Those are the first two you saw there, Shriek and Double. Not the ideal way for that to start. That'll work. OCD, not so much. <laughs> That's some good luck there. That was great. Close the door down. I believe we saw Power Rangers already this weekend for large deals on weapons. For my money, Rat King's the easiest boss in the game. I'm just gonna hit him with five specials here. Get above the ski when he changes form. Get blasted off the roof just in time. That was an interesting sound effect transition for sure. It's like, did Raph knock Spider Man off the roof? Seems dubious. Have a good amount of health here, so I'm real happy about that. What the heck was that? That was strange. I shot a web at him and it acted as a hitbox. I don't know if that's your question to hit anything. Dive down on this guy, knock him down. Climb up. Onto our boss. One of the easier bosses in the game. All we have to do is just do eight dives in opposite directions. This did take a bit of practice when I first learned it, but it's really efficient. And it's definitely recommended. Especially if you can lock his eyes in place and keep shooting on his boy like that. Sentinel does not know the meaning of squad up. There he goes. Wrecking was one of the SNES exclusive bosses, I believe. You never saw him in the arcade version. Get our very cool looking Technodrome cutscene. Let's kick shot! Next exclusive stage here. Normally I play Beast here, but I'm going to play him last so I can focus on him. He is the most essential and important character in the run, so he's the one I choose to talk about at the very end. Yeah, specials galore. Come here. Didn't want that. I was trying to throw him to the screen. Whatever. 
Also, you know I don't speedrun this game very much because you're going to see a lot of use of the slam tactic. This is a very efficient strat for crowd control, but it's not very good for speed. On to the worst character in the game. Cyclops sucks. Most of us know this by now. It's just, it's just a fact of, fact of life when it comes to this game. Cyclops is just not a good character. His movement is very poor. His attacks are pretty bad overall. Like he has this slide, but it's laughable to think he even has this slide when you try to compare it to someone like Silox, whose slide is incredibly fast and very useful for movement. Where Cyclops like barely leaves the house when he does this. That'll work. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, but okay. Really, you avoided all that? That mouser is getting busy. There we go. Grab this dumpster, take out the trash, miss everything that's cool. I gotta give him that, that was smart. Apprehend him a little bit. For Cyclops' mini boss, definitely don't love this. This is really hard when being shot. If I get interrupted at any point, that's basically guaranteed hit. I'll even take that trade, to be honest. Should have enough time to be okay. Do this for health. Do this for why not. Running this way. I would have loved to hear what a arcade version of this song would have sounded like. This song is so good. Uh, what are you doing? Stop interrupting my good time. I think of the games that I have on today's list, this is the one I played the least. I only recall running it a couple of times. I do remember my first experience with it though. One of my best friends in grade school had rented it, and I remember I played it over to his place on his birthday, and I was like, this game is amazing. Up to that point, it was probably my favorite Batman game. I think I only played Batman Ness at the time, and I would argue that game was better. Meh. I was an arcade guy. It appealed way more to me. Get that guy, fall down the bridge in our action movie sequence. Land like a Belmont. Really, guys? Uh, I can do this here. Da -da. Yes. Not a rerun, this is all being done live. Okay. Here. Bash your shoulders in. Please don't hold that. Oh, sure. That guy has two choices. He can either hold the bomb and almost indefinitely, or at least until the timer runs out, or he can just throw it right away, which is what I vastly prefer. Okay, we're going this way to our boss. Every practice attempt I've had recently, I missed the quick kill on these guys, and I would like that to not happen. So Again, as I always do. Rubs are just pretty dodges, though. This will work. Not a true quick kill, but I'm probably not gonna get hit here. Uh, ow. Crowd control. Yep, that happens. Hair is a vicious weapon in this game, it turns out. There we go. A couple little tidbits we can snag up here, some health and extra life, why not? This game caps out at nine lives. Spider-Man is secretly a cat, for those who don't know. There we go. For Razar being a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? An uncooperative jerk. That worked out really well. That's... Hot jams here on elevator. Hmm, that. that's gonna be something. Stab me, please. Up here, so my timing was thrown off big time there. But we can move. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's only a little bit of a flesh wound. Here, I forget it. Just left or right? No problem. Who fits? Missing a power hit. Missing a whiff. Guy. That was pretty funny. Batman blocking bombs and back the clowns. Left finally. 
Okay, there we go. And of course, I forgot where I was for a second. What the heck? There's some crowd control here in a moment. This is definitely not optimal for this area of play, but kind of make me have to do stuff. Why is that guy swinging at nothing? Got these guys. That's supposed to work as a despawn, and I hope it does. It did not. Uh, you have to move really, really quick to get out of there properly. This might be in jeopardy now. Rodney's here are pretty simple. Hoping the same for the mouser, you really want to nail these slides, but I've been interrupted on this mouser so many times that I'm just boiling it. Yep, a little bit of input drop there, we're gonna see what happens. Oh, you jerk. Okay, there we go. That'll work. That was not good, but we'll do it. Getting interrupted. Okay, game. And I couldn't even kill that guy. Whatever you say. So, gonna drop a couple test tubes here. Test tubes we've seen a few times already in this game. They do a really good job of clearing the screen. As you can see. But you only get a, a specific number per stage. And you really have to make sure you know when to use them. Don't just see them really nilly or whatever. Fascinating. Almost close. So here comes the uh, here comes the real test for this game. Being able to maintain the infinite, especially on bosses, is a real challenge. This is gonna be interrupted at any point. I hope that it doesn't. So I'm just gonna do what I always do and rope it up this guy right in his jacket. All right, good times. To make matters worse, that infinite is so much harder to do on um, on emulator. Like I've always had a.